lot of your your guys from right way end up going on doing DVDs and not a lot. Well, I know I've seen Michael. One. Play, well, you I saw him on a DVD with Frank. I seen Michael Moore in an interview. On a interview with Frank. Frank and Kevin, right? Kevin, you didn't see on the DVD. No. No. Kevin was just at that press conference. That's where you see him at. Like call chasers. Look how they talk. Listen, listen. I, I, it amazed me how people even take take them take them seriously. Kevin up there with his feet on the table. Oh, I'll have this case solved in 24 hours. Uh, I got documentation. Somebody gonna pay me $250,000 for it that can prove this whole case. Okay, it's 20 years later. Where's the proof at, Kevin? Where is it at? Got that mentality of Hollywood dudes. These dudes was Hollywood. They were. I didn't see it. That if if I'm guilty of anything, it's not recognizing the dudes that I had working for me. The 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 personality because they were there. They were on these dudes. Frank did a hell of a job getting Park off of Orlando Anderson and getting them out of that casino. Can't take that away. Did what he's supposed to do. Kevin Hackey. I done been locations where it been shootings. Remember at a Chris Rocker, Chris. Chris Tucker at the party was a major shooting. He had Pac covered where Pac was feel good because Pac, no gunshot, scared the shit out of Pac. <laughs> Sugar, I'm used to that. We in L.A., we in Compton, you know, we, you know, we used to hearing gunshots. We looked at those two and started laughing. But my point is, you know, Kevin was good for, for Pac. They were, they were all, you know, had their good and their bad. So they, they did a job, but I didn't see the other things that, of reasons why you're not supposed to hire people. So your background checks were? I thought the police departments did them. I figured if they were cops, shit, they should have been good enough, right? <laughs> how, 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 my, how my little security guard or my little security company going to do a better uh, background check than supposedly a law enforcement did, right? So whatever happened to Frank's, like his life, it started to spiral out of control? Yeah, that guilt. Did you see that coming? I didn't see it. I hadn't dealt with him since... Um, I gave him some work at a, a church in Inglewood um, that got repossessed after the Pac shooting and all of that. I just got him away from death row. I kept him on for about two or three months, paying him to do, you know, work another gig that I had. But then I'm trying to get him to cooperate, to do your job. I wasn't teaching, or I didn't have the security company established to be hired guns. My thing was to be good witnesses because I knew the guys that I was dealing with don't want to go to court, don't, don't believe in going to court, and shouldn't have to go to court. So you hire somebody to do that. And that's what Reggie guys were supposed to be doing, being the ones that go to court and testify for you. And so all I was trying to do, there are phone conversations out there, people be like, oh, you was threatening him. Like, no, I ain't threatening him. Tell him to come and do your motherfucking job. This is what you was getting paid for. You need to come and show up to court and testify, you the one supposed to be calling names and stuff. Your client or Suge or whoever shouldn't have to be the one getting on the stand testifying. That was your job. That's what you're there for. You wasn't there to be a higher assassin or whatever. That's what most people think security guards for, was for, but I'm glad he didn't have a gun when that incident happened. Because who knows who he would have, if he would have, when chasing somebody, who he might have would have shot. And now my little house and all my little shit, I'll still be in bankruptcy because they done killed some little old white lady on at a slot machine standing in the casino in Las Vegas. I know some people think that, I remember Spider Love said something about uh, Pac dying under your watch. You must have heard that a million times. Spider Love said it? I thought when he came to, when he came to, the, um, to, the, to the podcast, remember, uh, I think he said something that. about... Mm. I don't remember. Something like that. Um, or, or he asked me, did I feel guilty about oh, yeah, that or something? something. Like Wondering what's your whole feeling about? I mean, I'm sure you, you guys never expected one of our rappers was gonna get murdered. Yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> I, 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 you know, it's sad that it happened. Pac's a grown man. Pac put his hands on Orlando Anderson. Reggie Wright didn't put his hands on Orlando Anderson. Reggie Wright didn't say anything. Reggie Wright wasn't even there. So to blame me is to say that is unfair. Um, but I, yeah, I guess a police chief. Hey, the guy for the uh, prison, when this motherfucker just hung himself in a prison, this rich motherfucker. Epstein? 
Epstein just hung us up in the prison, the guy that was the, over the B, or the system, you know, whoever was in charge of BP, he got fired and he was at home in bed, probably laying up with his wife when it happened. And he got fired, so I guess if you want to put me in that boat, in that boat, then I have to accept responsibility. Other than that, I don't bear any responsibility at all. So what are some of the craziest things you started to read or hear about online that pissed you off? You know, uh, Frank and this guy, Michael Moore, they came up with some plot, I think, or some storyline to help sell their DVDs and stuff like that to create. Like they heard some white man come over a radio and say, uh, got him. Uh, then been accused of disarming the, the security that was assigned to, to uh, protect Pop. When quite frankly, or honestly, prior to that he had wrote in his book that the reason why he didn't have his gun on him because at the last minute Pop to, asked him to drive the outlaws. But then later on he started doing, he switched his theory and said, oh no, Reggie told me not to carry it. Well, which one is it? <laughs> did, did Pac tell you to drive the outlaws and you left your gun in your, your personal car? Or did Reggie tell you not to? So this stuff like that that was out there and um, that was like, well, Tupac was planning on leaving Death Row. He, you know, all of that bull crap was like, where's all of this coming from? Didn't y'all hear him hollering Death Row and Death Row East? Until I die, or, or 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 something like that, to that effect. I mean, you know, so it was just shocking to hear stuff like that, and to hear that people were believing it. It took me a while to realize that these little young 23, 24 year old kids that wasn't even born yet, that's mainly on the YouTube listening to this. I think the consensus is that most people believe Orlando is the trigger person. Um, do you believe that? And how long have you believed that? Unfortunately, I was 50% right and 50% wrong on both Big E and Tupac killings. I was the one from day one pushing out Orlando and the South Side Compton Crips. Day one. I knew about the bullets that was found in the duffel bag <laughs> that matched bullets at the, at, at the crime scene in the South Side Compton Crips. I also blame Southside Compton Crips, and that's where I'm half wrong at, for the murder of, um, of Biggie Small. I thought that because they didn't get the money or the bounty was paid up for, uh, for killing uh, Tupac, which we find out later, according to QVD, that Zip Von, Von Zip intercepted 500,000 of it. But it turns out that that wasn't the case. And so I have to own ownership for blaming uh, the murder of Biggie on the Southside Compton Crips, who obviously had nothing to do with it. And you have changed that to who now? Read Murder Rap if you want to hear my position on that. <laughs> Are you tired of talking about that one? You tired I don't talk on that one. So the QPD confession turned out to be almost accurate of what actually happened yeah i believe it i've been believing it i've been pushing that narrative prior to keep you coming out or anyone coming out i didn't know about the the meeting with puffy i knew about the bounty uh i heard it was a i don't think i knew it was a million dollars i think i always heard five hundred thousand. but stuff like that um uh yeah yeah we it's been common knowledge out here when he added the whole Puff Daddy and, and Von Zip part of it, do you think that's true too? Why you gotta lie? Why? LAPD was trying to solve Biggie Small's murder. They didn't care about, that was Vegas problem. He gave them Vegas problems. So if they wanted to coach him, or if they wanted him to lie, we don't wanna hear that. We want Keepy, we wanna hear about Biggie. He does something for Biggie. That's what make me know it's not a lie. <laughs>
Thanks for watching StreetTV.net. If you're not subscribed, please hit that button below and click the bell to receive alerts and notifications. Like and comment below to give us your feedback and be sure to watch the two related videos to the right. If you want to support this platform or follow us on social media, visit the links in the description and listen to our weekly podcast, The Gangster Chronicles, every Thursday. And thanks for watching StreetTV.net.